What the heck? Hey, anyways. Guys, I'm going to show you something that I just found. I got, uh, let's see. 310 right here. 310 right here. There's another 310 right over there. And there's a 310 right here. Now, this one right here is right in the um, stages of being taken apart. But it's weird because when I pulled on the rope, it goes like this and it stops. Let me get you guys to zoom in here a little bit. It just stops. So I'm going to take advantage of this to show you guys how to get the flywheel off or how I take the flywheel off. I got a big old fat screwdriver right there. It's got a nice little wedge to it. I take it and I, I set it right underneath the here. And I try, like, sometimes you can just take and twist that screwdriver. Let me back out. Sometimes you can just take and twist the screwdriver and it'll pop off. This is already off. But I just want to show you how I do it. So here's a 13 millimeter impact socket. You go like this. You twist on it. You leave the leave the nut on there, but you don't want to because you don't want to damage the threads. And so I just put my socket on there. I twist and I just go pop. That's usually more than enough. One, maybe two hits. Take the nut off. And this is what I found. When I open this thing up. Can you see that? There's a roof and nail stuck under there. Why that didn't shear that, I have no idea. But now we're taking I put it back on. I got I got a free spinning motor. I should probably check this bad boy for some compression. Mm, not as much as I would like, but that would run. That one would definitely be a runner. Yeah, he went through all this. Look. See that under there? That's a brand new carburetor. I didn't do that. So it's got a new carburetor, a new plug. Not too bad on the, the air filter. So I made the attempt to get it going, and when it looked locked up, if you only pulled the rope, it would stop like that, but I was looking down through it, and I saw, I took a screwdriver, and I saw that I could back it up, so I knew it wasn't seized. That's just crazy. There was a stupid nail under there. So I'm going to fix this one. I need the... Spark plug. You guys even in the picture? No? Go like this. Um, I need that spark plug so I can go around checking compression. This one, this one over here. We'll put this one off to the side. Everything else is all right. It's all there. There's the choke. There's the throttle. There's this. There's that or whatever. I think that was the, the one thing that stopped it. So... That's a $9 chainsaw. We'll figure that one out. Here's another one. This one here, I can just tell. If I'm in the picture. This one was turned into a parts machine. For sure. Flywheel does. It does spin over. Plug's been out of it. I'm going to take and put this in here. I'm just spinning it over to kind of get an idea if there's any compression at all this this carburetor is laying in there still has the original restrictors on it there's that there's this it's missing the choke I can smell that the gas is very very old mm, not bad but not great that one would probably be a runner. Let's check and see. So there's there's two that we can make run for a little or next to nothing. What's the story with this one? This is all gone. There is no cover. 
I'm not going to spend 30 bucks to find a cover for them either. So this doesn't look, this looks like it's been air cleaned a couple of times. Just going to put that plug in there. Oh, crap. Oh, look, all the bolts are gone out of here. So we can go like that. Get that off of there. Hmm. Hard to say. When they sit this long, you guys, and there's no fuel, no oil mixture or anything that's up inside of there, they're basically they're basically dry. They, they'll they'll have less compression than when they actually have uh, fuel mixture in it. It's, it's hydraulics. It, it can't get the moisture and the, the fuel mix out of the way fast enough. So that helps to build up your compression. I don't know. Maybe that one's on, that one's on the edge. But again, this one doesn't look like it's high mileage. A lot of, a lot of grease. Maybe do that. So anyways, out of the, you know, some of them are missing, whatever. That one's missing a pull rope. That could be the only reason why that thing's not running. Uh, it's missing uh, the cover over here for the, for the oil. Let's see what else it's missing. Anyway, that's got a, that's got a new filter on it. Pull this off. What do you think? It's going to have a new plug on it. You tried working on it. Couldn't get it. I would at least take and pull my parts off. Stuff that I put on there. Not bad. It's not new, but it's not bad. Let's rip this cover off real fast. You want to? Find out why this one's not running. So far, it's missing an oil cap. It's missing the bar up here. Take this out. Let's see what we got. Oh. It feels a little stiff when there's no plug in there. This is we're just doing triage. Find out which one's gonna be the best candidate, you know, to turn into a runner. We go like this. Because obviously duh. We have all those parts that we can swipe. Hear that one? This for sure is the one that we're gonna we're gonna turn this one into the runner. This one's gonna be okay. And I sold mine, one of the ones that I fixed. So I need this. I need this one for me. Anyways, all right, guys. I just wanted to share that with you on that first part. There was a roofing nail stuck underneath. So now we got four CS three tens. We're going to make one of them run. So I'll upload this part because it's almost nine minutes long. And then when I do the actual putting it together and everything, then we'll go through the whole thing. Uh, I'll order up. I think I actually have a bar. I have a bar. I have a chain. need to find the side covers. Once I get all of that stuff, then... Uh, Where did this drop off of? That's part of this. That's part of one of these from the other one. So it's probably missing a spark. Anyways, we're going to make a runner. And that will be the next video coming up. Oh, primer's gone out of here. I got those. I got all this stuff. What I really need. I do own one steel. That's my little 310 over there. But I wouldn't mind having this saw. They're super cheap in the store. But it needs this part of the handle. 
That's all they broke it. So, I don't know. Trigger and a handle. I know it runs. I wouldn't mind having that. So, maybe I'll try to find this this piece on eBay or something. Because I'm not going to work with it Mickey Mouse like that. Anyways, all right, guys. That's 10 minutes of your time just to show you a roof and nail. Anyways, I got stuff coming up. All right. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sticking with me. And that's it. For now, I'm done. I'm out.